go, fish on. Oh, it's a big one. Big one, big one, big one. We got a giant on. What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. We just woke up in the camper van. Uh, as you can see, uh, Kiara is ready to roll. And um, we camped down by the river. We're on our way out to the property. And we need to do some more improvements out there. I know, I'm sleepy too. We are just going to fish for some trout from this creek though real quick. Um, maybe catch him with like a bobber and a worm. We haven't bobber fished in a while. So we're going to try and get some bobber downs and some trout. Oh, but let me like show you guys who else is here. Check this out. Hi, Stinky. Hi. Hi. Oh, are you still sleepy? That's right. We got Tika with us as well. Some of you guys already know her, but that's my other dog. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Go. That's right, that was a spot last night. We had just a little itty bitty fire, nothing nothing big, just a little bit to stay warm, smell a little bit of smoke. We were listening to a bunch of wild coyotes last night, so I wanted to make sure to kind of keep them at bay because we have the dogs here. So we'll probably try and see what we can do. Maybe float the bobber through here a little bit, see if we can catch some trout. drink out of the coffee pot? Uh, I didn't see it, I wasn't looking. Did, did she just drink out of my coffee pot? Come on, Stinger. Come on, come on, woo! <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a wild one back there. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our fishing gear ready. We're gonna try and not make too much commotion around the uh, water. At Kiara, get away from there. Get away from there. Don't you dare jump in the water, little girl. <laughs> so what do you guys think about this awesome uh, cast iron tea kettle? I just had to pick that baby up. Part of why I come out here and what I like to do is just cook more primitively get out into nature. Uh, so we're gonna do yeah, just more like bushcrafting at the property. We're gonna simplify things, kind of go back a couple hundred years, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I just love that kind of stuff. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Should we get a trout for lunch? Should we get a trout for lunch? We are here for the fishing rods that I have back there. Or is it fishing poles? You tell me. I think it's a like a spin rod and a fly pole, right? Is that is that correct? <laughs> it's not easy to fish with her. <laughs> Absolutely not easy at all. She'll run around. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, get away from there. What are you doing? Ah, oh, she's such a little monster. Kira, no, 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 Kira, get away from the water. All right, guys. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get out a worm. I got these guys 
in my backyard. I brought a wood round that we're gonna bring to the property and I flipped it over and all of a sudden I saw all of these worms underneath. So that kind of inspired me. And we're just gonna kind of run them, run them up the hook a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is bring my weights down considerably. I want my split shot down low. All right, first cast. Oof, in the middle of a bunch of tumbleweeds. All right, there's the bobber. There's the bobber, she's going down, going down. So right after a big, there's like some drop-offs and some holes right here. So we'll try and fish right there. That's probably where the trout are sitting. Oh, 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 bobber down, fish on, fish on. Come here, we got one. <laughs> oh, oh, little beauty, nice little fighter. Wet down the net just a little bit. Ah, oh, that's not a not a horrible fish. Let's see how badly he's hooked. Uh, he did swallow the hook. He's not huge, not huge. He's kind of just a hey, he's like a little eater, little eater. Beautiful rainbow though. Look at the colors on this guy. But uh, but yeah, he did swallow the hook. So we're gonna keep that guy there. Look at that, Kiara. We got food. <laughs> we got food. We just put this guy to sleep. That way he's not suffering at all. All right, we're going to try the bullet lure now. I want to see if we can catch a bigger one uh, for food because I've got a lot of mouths to feed on this one. So with the bullet lure, they're not going to swallow it all the way, so it'll be easier to release uh, fish if we do have a small one. So we'll cast just upstream there a little bit and see what happens. Oh, there we go, fish on. Is he still there? Oh, he came off, he came off. That, that was a good, that might have been a good one. Oh my goodness, we're... I just got stuck in that giant tumbleweed and somehow we saved the lure. That's unbelievable that we got that lure back. Just gonna go upstream here again a little bit uh, to that same spot where we got that bobber down. I'm just gonna cast behind that boulder there again into the ripples behind it. Kira, ah, get away from the camera. Hey, Kira, get away. Ooh, perfect cast, perfect cast. Here we go, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 we just had a tap. Just had a good tap there. Hopefully it didn't hook him or anything so that, uh, that he comes back. Let's move up just a little bit higher on the, on the river there. We're gonna try up there. Okay, so we're gonna try and sneak down here now and uh, fish downstream or fish, well, upstream, and but retrieve downstream. I don't want to fall in the water though here. All right, come on, baby, come on. First cast. All right, nothing on that one. Oh, there we go. Come on, I'm feeling like there could be a really big one in our near future. Oh, there we go, fish on, fish on. There we go. Ooh, 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 fighter, 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 fighter. My goodness. Ah, oh, not a bad trout, not a bad trout at all. Let's go ahead and just wet our hands so that we don't injure him. 
if we release them. Not bad. Check that out. About the same size as the other one there, so he's not hooked very badly. So we're just gonna let this guy go. There we go. All right. And he's out of here. Ooh, that's in the honey hole over there. That's the spot. So we're gonna try, we're gonna just go pack everything up, go a little bit further upstream to try and uh, maybe find a hole where we can catch a bigger trout. Doesn't need to be a giant, but at least like a mid-sized one would be nice. That way we all have plenty to eat. All right, time to pack up. As you guys can see, we're charging uh, with solar right now. The sun is probably, we're gonna lose the sun likely this afternoon. We only had sun in the morning and it's gonna turn cloudy. So I try to get all the energy we can get. Good stuff, all right. Unbelievable. How, how did you just get out the back of the, the van? How did you do that? There we go. <laughs> you are, what are you doing? spot you <laughs> be a good little girl okay make sure your big sister doesn't get into any trouble while i'm gone oh my goodness what was that oh my my poor gopro oh there we go that's well, on yeah, still works all right okay we're at the next spot here i left both of the dogs in the car just because i can't afford to have kiara jump in the water here again and run around like a crazy girl. So here's the creek in front of us. Looking pretty juicy right there. Very juicy. And we're gonna sneak right in here. I'm gonna leave the bobber rod and the worms there. Oh, there we go, fish on. Whoa. Oh. First cast down into that deeper hole. Oh, I came off, unfortunately. Dang. Solid bite. Not a giant, but solid. Let's try that again. There you go. Don't need a really reel. We're going to let the current do the work. Whoa, there's a bunch of, what are those, C-130s or something? No, that's not the C-130. Tell me what, what plane that is, guys. That's crazy see if anything's hanging out in the fast current there. We're gonna give that fish down low a little bit of a break. Oh, oh, oh there was a follow. There, <laughs> I saw one come after it. Kind of medium size one, medium small. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! Man, we lost that one. That's unbelievable. That felt like a good one too. Tell you what, let's go ahead and throw a worm on here again. We're running out of a little bit of time. I wanted to have some time at the property with some daylight. Oh yeah, this one looks good. Cast it right there in the current. All right, this is a perfect drift, perfect right there. Come on, come on, right there. Bobber down, bobber down. Let's go, let's go, come on. have it in the slower water. Maybe if we can have it sit there for a while, a fish will come and find it. Oh, oh, 
There we go, fish on. Oh, it's a big one. Big one, big one, big one. We got a giant on. Giant fish. Oh, I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit. I don't want this guy breaking off that. Oh my goodness, that's a big guy. Nope, we're gonna tighten it again. Just a tad. Oh my good, it's a giant trout. Monster trout. <laughs> Let's go. That's a big fish. There's a real, oh, no, no, no. Don't go downstream, don't go downstream. Tell you what, we're gonna try and bring him up here a little bit. I cannot have this fish go down in the rapids. Oh, I see him down there. I see him. He's a monster. It's a monster. It looks like a small salmon. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 he's got some beautiful color too. Beautiful color. We are toast if he goes in those rapids. I don't know. How... Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, no, no, no. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Turn him around. Always keep that nose facing upstream on that fish. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come Oh my, oh, oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. Oh, it looks like a big male, a big colorful male. He has so much energy. Oh, oh my. Come here, come here. Oh, you see that? That is a beautiful, that's a trophy fish. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come, come here. Oh, <laughs> we got him. Yes, yes. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, hooked right in the lip. Look at that fish. Dinner is served, guys. Wow. Look at this giant right here. He barely fits in the net. Absolute monster trout. Oh, he's got like battle scars on him and stuff. This guy's been around the block. Look at that beautiful, beautiful trout. You see that little bit of a red band down the center there? He's absolutely gorgeous. Total monster. He took it right there in the lip. We did put this guy to sleep. Just wanted to make sure that he's not suffering at all because uh, we're going to eat him. The red stripe, the beautiful red cheeks. In the last video, some of you guys asked uh, if these are steelhead that I'm catching. Uh, no, I'm nowhere near an ocean river here. So these guys are actually just really big trophy rainbow trout. Uh, this guy does not have cutthroat markings. So he's just a male uh, with some beautiful fall colors on him. Still nice and silvery in the middle. I bet he'll have beautiful orange delicious meat that'll feed Kiara, Tika and me. So thank you, buddy. We got our bobber down. Awesome. Tico, what do you think? Is that a big fish? It's like bigger than her. <laughs> right, food is secured. Now there's just a few resources down here by the creek that I wanted to gather that I don't have at the property. Uh, one of them I saw is these cattails. These guys make amazing fire starters. There's a lot of things that you can use uh, these cattails for and I actually want the whole stock. There we go. That should be plenty of cattails. That's an awesome resource actually to have. We're gonna stash these at the property and we'll be able to use those again and again as fire starters. I wanted the stalks as well as some primitive building materials. I'm putting these guys here away separately <laughs> down in a box because look at this. See how they powder up like that? So all of those guys can just go right down there. Welcome back to the off-grid property. The dogs are already checking everything out. They're marking their territories. What do you think, Tika? What do you think? This is actually Tika's first time 
at the property. I think she likes it. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a little, like a little sheep in a meadow out here. Oh, what do you think, Kiara? Huh? Are you glad to be back? Basically, uh, from here as far as you can see, is all that's all part of the property. And there's some huge cliffs way back there. I've got one camera there. I've got one camera stationed here next to this uh, like cliff pile thing. <laughs> uh, there's a game trail going this way, so they've got one camera facing that. Then I've got another camera kind of right there. There's a field, and then there's one more camera over here facing into a cave. So we're gonna check all of those cameras, swap batteries on them. I'm sure they're dead by now. It's been a while since I've set those up. Basically, the only thing that we've done at camp here is build a fire pit. In uh, one of the last episodes, we built this guy here. We're gonna change up a couple things on here. We might start building kind of peripheral camps at cool sites along the property. It's just freaking beautiful. That was actually a recommendation from one of you guys in the comments on the last property update video was bring out a big wood round. So I grabbed one from the, the yard. I'll bring out some more just for some primitive chairs, but uh, fantastic idea. If you guys have ideas for the property, like weird improvements we could make, things you wanna see, uh, just let me know in the comments. You guys know I read the comments. Are you drinking the water? <laughs> All right, so this morning you guys saw me power uh, my power pack with the sun. So that's called a solar generator. Obviously you need sunlight for that to work, but the idea was that I harness the energy from that sun in a solar panel, turn that into electricity, store it in this massive battery bank right here, and then I can use that energy to power devices like charging my GoPro batteries, charging my phone. Uh, as you guys know, when I'm out here in my camper van or out at the property, I'm completely off grid. So the only option for me to have power like that is from a portable solar generator. This guy here is a Jackery 1500. It's what I've had. Uh, this one here is new to me actually. Jackery hooked me up with that uh, several weeks ago. I've been putting this baby through the test and it is doing really good. So finally today, since I had some sun, I was able to test it. So this morning we were getting just over 300 watts of power from the sun with our four solar panels. Now, of course, the other way that you could charge your jacker would be with a big old uh, wall charger or just with a 12 volt uh, cigarette plug for your car. And the nice thing is that you've even got full 110 volt uh, power outlets right there. As you can see right now, we're pulling about 10 watts of energy to charge my phone and the GoPro battery. And then it tells you an estimate of how long I would be able to use those devices or how long I could charge. So right here, you can see I'd be able to charge for 85 hours. <laughs> but I've got this leftover Thanksgiving food, some delicious beans. All right, throw that baby in the microwave. So in order to use the 110 volt on the Jackery, we're just gonna hit this button right here and that fires up our pure sign 110 volt uh, outlets. Let's give it about a minute and then start that. Now we can see on the Jackery the output. Uh, and as we can see, this baby just peaked up and it's charging the phone, GoPro batteries and the microwave to 1740, about 1740 watts. There we go. Ooh, 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 nice and warm. All right, happy late Thanksgiving to all of you wonderful people and thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been thinking about getting a solar generator uh, for either out camping or maybe emergency power outages around the home uh, or maybe as a nice Christmas gift for a family member or friend who likes the outdoors, then I'll leave a link in the video description below as well as the comments to a Christmas sale that Jackery is having. They've got some amazing discounts. So feel free to head over there and pick your guys up some uh, a solar powerhouse. All right, we're gonna eat this food now and go explore the property. Mm. You want some more potatoes and one bean? Nom, 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 nom. So right now I've got our Dutch oven stand tied up together in the top with paracord. But so we're gonna do a quick little modification. I brought with me just some old school uh, rope and uh, we're gonna use that to retie the top together because I want this more period correct for like 
the 19th century. There we go, it looks a lot better already. That just looks a little more, looks a little more true west. All right, it's adventure time. Packs on, we're heading out to find the cameras. That sky's on fire, it's absolutely beautiful. What do you think, Tika? Ready to go? All right. Tika, let's go. All right, so welcome to, we'll call it the pasture. There's a small pasture right down here, then there's a big rock wall behind me. And uh, we've got one camera right there, as you can see. Check out this massive rock wall, though. There's all sorts of animals living inside this wall here. We've seen rabbits. I've got a camera on a cave uh, right over there. And there's some weird, like a large rodent that lives in there, like so large to where I don't want Tika necessarily getting too close. All right, we got our first camera right here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in there. Oh! Almost dropped the SD card, or did drop the SD card. Number one, secured. So here's the next camera. I just hope that uh, the battery was still running when those deer came through. Man, look at the sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Come on, Tika, let's go. Oh, look at Kiara out there jumping like a deer. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, right behind this wall, right here on the other side, is a massive 80 foot drop off. It's the cliff. Here, here, whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. cave camera and then head back to camp, start up a fire, cook up our fish. Whew. Worked up a sweat coming up here, but man, this is probably my most favorite spot on the property. Got our wood shavings here. Set those on that little log. And then we got one of those cattails that we collected there earlier. I'm just gonna take out a little bit of that fuzz. Kind of, you know, we're actually gonna set that underneath everything. All right, we got a little bit of grass here. Let's just get that all fluffed up. There we are. But we got her going now, so let's just get this baby, baby roaring.
just realized we never measured this guy. He is about 19 and a half. Almost as big as the one from the last episode. Wow, that's still a big trout. Finally, sprinkle on some Danish sea salt. Now we're talking. Give that little guy a few minutes. Maybe we'll flip him, we'll just kind of see what happens here. But for right now, we're just gonna give him a little bit of time on there. Right there. She was sleeping in the van and just heard that and now she's scared. Yeah, that's right. You, you stay here, big girl. There's several packs of coyotes that have been howling here through the night. Um, the first one I heard was kind of that way. And then there were several distant packs down that way as well, but it sounds like one pack of coyotes came really close. So they're probably only, geez, they're maybe a hundred yards away from here, if that. So we got to make sure that Kiara and especially Tika, well, both of them stay really close. They're beautiful wild animals, but they will lure her out, come in as a pack and they will kill and eat her. Ah, so cool to listen to them though, absolutely wild. Oh, it's looking so good too. This is gonna be delicious. I got a couple of pieces of corn here. I'll just drizzle some oil on. All right, time to flip our fish here. Ooh. All right, a little char on the skin, but that's all right. The skin will just come right off. That's looking delicious. I just want to test like a little, little piece here. Ooh, look at all the pin bones right there. A strike, we, we got them. Mm. Oh, dude. There we go, good girl. And on top of this trout, we're gonna throw a little bit of the Santa Fe Olay green, extra roasted green chili from Evan and Christy. They sent me that a little while ago to the PO box. So we're gonna, we're gonna spice this baby up a bit. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now we're talking.
Chica. <gasps> All right. We've got our little roasted tortillas there. We're just gonna sprinkle on just a tad of cheese onto each one of them. So we're just gonna take a bite of corn here. One for Tika, one for Kiara. Thank you to everyone, by the way, that sends all the cool stuff to the P.O. Box. Um, I've done several shout outs on Instagram, but if you guys have missed uh, it over there, then just seriously, if you've sent some stuff, thank you very much. It means a ton to me. I'll try and get like back to more people. It's just I'm still learning how the whole thing works, and it's it's overwhelming sometimes, I'll, I'll, I'll admit. Mm. Ooh, that green chili is good. That's going to be delicious on here. Sorry, we're, we're a little messy here tonight. I hope you're okay with that. All right, well, cheers. Here's a cheesy corn, green chili, trout wrap right there in a, in a nice corn tortilla. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, come here. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try just some of the trout. I'm sorry, that's not for you. I'll give you another piece, Carl. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just a bit of a nice char on it. Absolutely delicious, flavorful. Mm. <laughs> but we still got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We kind of got cheated out of our daylight today. The day was over super fast. Tomorrow, we're still going to review our wildlife footage. I'm just going to chill tonight with the dogs, enjoy the fire. But I really, really am curious to see what kind of animals are on the property, what we got on camera. Then what we're gonna do tomorrow as well is a little construction project. There's something really cool I'm gonna build with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the dogs a proper meal. We're gonna sit by the fire, listen to the coyotes, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. And then I'll see you guys first thing in the morning for more adventure. guys it's a beautiful beautiful morning at camp made a little coffee we're gonna make some breakfast we're gonna build a couple things we're gonna review some wildlife footage from the cameras if you guys have a name by the way for this this camp that we're gonna build let me know in the comments oh man
got some delicious cheesy mushroom egg chorizo uh, muffins, butter muffins. This is gonna be delicious. Cheers to more adventure today. all the layers in there man it pains me to have to feed the dogs like this delicious food but I do love them So it looks like we have some absolutely amazing footage here. I'm seeing tons and tons of mule deer. They're looking at the camera. They've detected us. They know we're watching. All the, oh, there's a buck. There's a buck right there. Hello, Mr. Buck. Looks like we have a coyote on the camera here. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at how just plush he is. It looks like a coyote. They look like small wolves. I mean, it straight up looks like a wolf. So the coyotes like hanging out in the field right down there um, below us. That's crazy. It's time to build some stuff, some fun stuff. All right, so we already cut all our wood last time. Now comes the fun part, the assembly. Already got a couple pieces put together here. All right, sweet. We got our own target range. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be fun. It's in a nice safe setting. We've got a big hill there behind us. So we're kind of in this bowl right there in front of camp. This isn't the permanent spot where we're gonna do it. I remember that kind of stuff. It's a ton of fun, but safety first. So we've got it set up in a good spot. That'll be awesome. All right, project complete. I've been like aching to get this one done. Oh, look at them down there. That's awesome. So we could just sit at camp and sweet. I guess we do need to just christen the range real quick. Safety first. Dogs are locked up in the car. Obviously, I don't want them to be subject to any noise. A little more fun from back here. I'd say the range is christened. And we can go up north on the property now to establish our first outpost. And we'll start up a little fire, cook up that little trout, see if we see anything good. Let's go. <laughs> Check it out, it's the bull. We found this guy 
many episodes ago when I did the first episode on the land out here. No, second one, the second episode out on the land. Just a big dead, uh, dead cow. Check that guy out, huh? Crazy. What is that? Come on, Tika, let's go. You know what I just remembered? I set up another trail camera down here. I totally forgot, I set up one trail camera down here in the valley. All right, I'll have to service this trail camera here before we set it up again. It's There's water inside, so I just want to get this baby dried up, see if it still works properly before we set that up again. Because this is like down where I think a lot of the wild coyote packs are, like in this valley. This is their kill valley. I want to see that footage, but we'll probably check that out in the next property update video. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you don't want to miss uh, what's on this SD card. This is going to be amazing. Fire, 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 fire. First fire in the new outpost. <laughs> so whenever you guys are starting a new fire pit, just make sure that you look for any little fires that might be creeping out, it's perfectly normal. Just make sure that you put them out right away. What we're just gonna do is kind of start cleaning up this area around here, just so there's nothing dry laying around and uh, make the whole thing kind of fireproof. That Danish sea salt on the inside. Look at that little trout. He's ready for the fire. Absolutely awesome. Let me know, as always, in the comments what else you guys want to see uh, happen out here. I kind of feel like this is an opportunity to share this beautiful piece of the Wild West with all of you guys. Again, I just couldn't be doing this without you guys. Man, I don't even know what to say. It's just like, this is like one of the wildest dreams come true. There we go. We finally did it. We finally established our first property outpost. The sky's completely on fire right now. It's beautiful. Let me know what you guys thought about the whole thing. And remember to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss the next upcoming episodes. I'm going to try and get out up into the mountains before they completely snow in. And then we'll just come out here to the property, do more update videos and uh, some primitive, primitive development. So uh, remember, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see on that. I love you all. And we'll see all of you guys for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.